A number of public service vehicle operators in Nairobi County have already taken advantage of the easing of movement restrictions by the government to hike fares as they anticipate a high number of passengers who will be traveling out of the capital. A spot check by KBC Channel 1, however, revealed that many operators are yet to comply with set guidelines from the Minister of Health and that of Transport. Days after the government conditionally lifted the ban of movement in and out of Nairobi, Mombasa and Mandera counties, the transport sector is slowly resuming its services. A spot check by KBC Channel 1 in Nairobi revealed majority of public service vehicle operators are yet to comply with the mandatory COVID-19 certification from the Ministries of Health and Transport. <laughs> The government said that we should be, have clearance forms. We don't know where to get those forms. We've been to agency offices. They are saying they are not yet ready. There are some here they have. I don't know where they are getting them. So I'm appealing to the government. This document to be made public and measures put in place of how we can access them, all of us. In many of the termini that we visited, Passengers who are eager to travel out of the capital were turned away by the hike in fare prices. Fare, I would say it has doubled. Yes, because regularly it's a thousand shillings. Now we are doing thousand, two thousand shillings, just to cover up for the seats we are losing. Nimeona magari ni chache, na nimeamua sasa labda ni kujeka sasa boi juu nimeamua sahi ni elhundi na nimeambili, taki ni mnyo ameniambia kesho ni kujeka. A number of travelers who say they had been trapped in Nairobi for three months because of the lockdown who are forced to use private cars. Nenda nyumbani ni private cars ambapo tunaripisha 2000 kama kwenda Kisi, Migori, Busia ni 2000. Atuchache excess side 2000. Okay. The PSV operators are supposed to have thermometer guns to check body temperature of passengers and provide sanitizers. The drivers must also be tested for COVID-19 and operate at 60% occupancy among other requirements. Ben Chumba, reporting for Channel 1 News.